guys, today we're going to be making some roast pumpkin in the hand soup. Hope you'll enjoy this beautiful recipe full of flavour, made completely from scratch and full of nourishing ingredients. Here is a picnic ham. It's definitely got to have the bone in because there's so many nutrients in that bone. Also, it's going to really bring out those flavors. So this is a pretty um, budget-friendly ham, and it will definitely make a couple of soups from the stock that I'm going to get here. So I'm using about a two kilo ham leg. You can probably stick around one and a half kilos um, if you're just doing the one batch. But I'm trying to make a couple of batches. And bulk cook today. Um, I'm also adding in two parsnips, four small carrots or three large carrots, so some of these carrots are a little small in stature, two onions and two leeks and also a couple of bay leaves, some chili flakes and some salt and pepper. I'm going to top that up with water and let that simmer away for a couple of hours to make that fresh stock and cook that ham right through so we have some shredded ham to use in our soup. So the beauty of pumpkin soup is that you don't need to chop anything perfectly. You just want it to be small enough that it will cook through evenly and it'll be easier to blitz up at the end. But because we're going to puree it with our stick blender, we don't need to worry about making everything chopped uniformly. So I can just quickly get this stock out here. chili flakes and a couple of bay leaves and we're gonna set that on the stove to start to boil and then I'll turn it down to a simmer for a couple of hours. So I'm just gonna take my pumpkin. Um, in this case it's a Kent pumpkin. Normally I'd use a butternut pumpkin and I'm gonna cut it in half. Take the seeds out and poke some holes into the skin and pop it into the oven for around 40 minutes to roast it. Pretty is that so I might just put a little bit of olive oil on the skin to help that soften um, and just pull out all these seeds in the middle so it cooks a little bit faster then I'm going to pop it on a tray at 200 for 40 minutes check out all of that beautiful cooked ham and all of this fresh stock and that is going to be absolutely delicious in our pumpkin soup See here, I've reserved all the extra bit. That is going straight into bone broth. All right, so I'm just going to strain off some of the stock and reserve that for another dish. I might just freeze it or something. Um, and then I'm going to add in some potatoes and a couple of other bits and the, add the pumpkin in last and then blend it up and we've got cheap pumpkin soup. Clear broth that we can use for another soup another time. 
Okay, so to finish off our pumpkin soup, I'm going to put in four roughly chopped potatoes. Um, doesn't really matter how they're chopped, they're all gonna get blitzed up together anyway. We're just gonna do a light cook on those. Okay, so I'm going to add in the secret ingredient now, and that is smoked paprika. I think this is an absolute game changer for my pumpkin soup, and I think it just adds a little bit more depth to the flavor that I'm looking for. Um, and I'm pairing this with a little bit of some cinnamon that I picked up from Costco. I think that smoky paprika and cinnamon kind of balance each other out. They give it that hearty flavor, but add in a little bit of interest and sweetness to it. I'll just throw in a teaspoon of smoky paprika and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm gonna pop that back on the stove to simmer until our pumpkin is ready to come out the oven. All right, let's finish off this pumpkin soup. So what I've done is I've used about three quarters of my canned pumpkin and I'm gonna save the rest of that for later. So there's quite a lot there. It should get us through quite a few meals. And I'm just gonna to toss that straight into our stock, which has been cooking beautifully. Uh, and now I'm gonna grab some cream and I'm gonna put some cream in there and I'm gonna blitz it up and add in our meat and we're done. So you can use any cream or milk that you like. Um, we're looking at about a half a cup for this one because it's about a double recipe. I'm gonna use a whole cup and I'm using some coconut cream for today, but I normally would use regular cream or full cream milk. I don't really measure to be honest, but maybe you're into that. Bacon's totally optional and serve it up with some pepinas on top and optional you can add some sour cream as well on the top or um, natural Greek yogurt whatever you've got on hand. <laughs> Thank you. 